Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to replace blank cells with zeros in a pivot table in Excel. Here I have the data with geography here in column A. I have the product, software, services and hardware in column B. I have the revenue numbers and margins. Now to create a pivot table using this data I would go to the insert tab and here I have the pivot table option. I would click on it it has already guessed the range which is correct and I want to create this pivot table in a new worksheet so I would simply click OK. As soon as I do this it inserts a new worksheet with the pivot table. Here I have the pivot table fields so I would drag and drop geography here in rows area I would drag and drop product in columns area and revenue here in values area. So it has quickly summarized my data set. I have the regions Australia, Europe and US and I have the product which is hardware, services and software. Now you would notice that I have these two blank cells and this cell being blank means that there are no values for Australia and hardware which means that there was no hardware sales in Australia. Similarly here it means that there was no services sales in the US. So I have these blank cells but if I'm working with this data set and if I have a huge data set and a big pivot table I may not want these blank cells. I may want uh, this to display zero instead of blank. So to do that I can simply click anywhere in this pivot table. I right click and go to pivot table options. In the pivot table options dialog box make sure you are in the layout and format tab. And here you have this option of for empty cells show. As of now this is blank and I would make this zero. So I would simply enter zero here and click OK. And as soon as I do this now you would see that this displays zero in these cells that were blank. So this is how you can quickly replace blank cells and put zero here. If you want you can enter something else so in case you want to mention not available or no sales then you can do that as well simply again go to pivot table options and here instead of zero you can type let's say no sales and now when I click OK you would see that it says no sales. However I always prefer to enter zero because uh, it gives a consistent look with all the numbers instead of these text which gets aligned to the left so it doesn't look that good. So this is how you can replace blank cells uh, with zero in a pivot table in Excel. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.